On behalf of yesterday's video in regards to me exploring a few things that I've learned over 33 years of my life, I wanted to take the time in this video to specifically explore one thing that I wish I knew when I was younger because if I had known it, my life would have unfolded drastically differently. So, that one thing is very simple. I am not responsible for other people's emotions. It's simple. However, foundationally to life, it is very transformative. And there's one specific reason it's transformative. When you feel that you are responsible for other people's emotions, you spend a lot of time and energy doing things that you do not need to do. You take on responsibilities that are not yours to take on. And ultimately, you become boundaryless. You have to be boundaryless to think that you're responsible for other people's emotions, right? Because if you were boundaried, which when you feel like you're responsible for other people's emotions, you're not boundaried because you don't recognize the space between you and the other person or people, right? Um, when you don't recognize that space, you take on their energy, and their energy affects you, and you think that you can't be okay unless they're okay. Yeah, this has really messed me up over the years, a lot. Um, specifically because my sense of focus and awareness and energy has been, <clears throat> for lack of a better word, robbed of me, right? I, uh, I've had a very challenging time throughout my life focusing on the things <clears throat> excuse me, that are most important to me, right? As a result of believing that I am responsible for other people's emotions. You're not. And it's like understanding that can really transform the dynamics of how you experience life because one of the most important things that I've learned in regards to interacting with people is to not take on their energy. You don't have to put up a wall. You don't. You just have to recognize that you don't have to be affected by their energy. Throughout my entire life, I have allowed myself to be affected by other people's energies. I have uh, walked on eggshells, right? And that conditions a person to just be a very specific way around people, a way that is just not necessary. You don't need to walk on eggshells when you realize that you don't need to take on other people's energies. They could be screaming at you. They could. You're fine. You're calm and collected, right? You're, uh, you, you remain consistent with your composure, right? And that's the, that's the important part there. Um... But if I had known that I wasn't responsible for other people's emotions when I was much younger, my life would have unfolded drastically differently. <laughs> and it actually, it really, it really upsets me that I never learned differently before, you know, just years ago. Because if I had, I would have approached people much differently. I wouldn't have wasted so much time and energy on that and thinking that I needed to cater to people's emotions or change myself, right? Codependency is how you see me or how you feel about me is how I see me and how I feel about me, right? And this goes into uh, feeling like you are responsible for other people's emotions, right? You're not. You're not. And the more you live inside of that, the less of a life you will live for yourself. Think about that. The more you live inside of thinking that you are responsible for other people's emotions, the less of a life you're going to live for yourself. It's not going to be yours. It's going to be your, your, your focus, your awareness, your energy is going to be stolen from you. It's going to be over there. It's going to be over there, right? And then you're going to become the person that feels like you need to manage everyone else. You don't. You're going to exert a ton of energy into things that you don't need to, right? And that's just the reality of it. You don't need to. You don't. And this is probably one of the biggest things that I wish I knew when I was younger. Because 
I would have approached life and people a lot differently. Um, I would argue that it definitely helped me learn some very necessary skills, especially for in a professional setting. Um, being, being highly attuned to people's emotions and energy is a superpower. It's 100% that. It's just, that's just the reality of it. So I'm really happy that I learned that. But the amount of time and energy that I waste, I, I will never, ever go back into that space of awareness again. <laughs> um, it's wild to learn that you learned that you were responsible for people's emotions and that that's the way that you lived for a long time. But it's even better to learn, or I should say unlearn that, and then learn that you're not because you aren't. And then living a life like that is very fulfilling because then you're just doing for yourself, right? You're not authentic when you feel like you're responsible for other people's emotions. It's not it's not a good or bad thing. It's really not. It's just you're not it's not it's not authentic, right? Because you're being pulled very far outside of yourself. Right? And the further that you're pulled outside of yourself, think about it this way, right? Your frame of authenticity, right? That is who you are, right? Um, or what you are, right? <clears throat> when you are pulled outside of that, you become inauthentic. And so not getting pulled outside of that is key. <laughs>